we're talking about change up today and I want to share with you the number one thing that I see as a problem when developing youth pitchers and their change up. The number one thing that I see is slowing down the body to throw this pitch. So pitchers will completely slow down their legs, hips are not rotating. You see that lean over the top and just a real slow release um, to let go of that ball. When that happens, your lower half is completely turned off. So you're doing everything with your upper body. There is no hip to kind of find with your arm that, for that release point. So really you're, you're kind of gambling as far as accuracy goes. You're just doing everything with your upper body. That hip is so helpful with your accuracy when it rotates in and you find that slot. That's what we're going for with the changeup. That's what we need every single time. That's that feel. Um, some pitchers like to physically try to find that hip and when they feel it, they know that's when they release. Others, almost as you get older, you kind of just know when it happens, your body's just trained. But if you're slowing down your body, maybe you get a slower pitch, great. And maybe it works in a game, great. But you're not training yourself to be great. You're not training yourself to be consistent. And you're not training yourself to trust it. So you have to stay fast. And I have these three drills and a progression, a small workout for you to use to train your body to do those things. This is not how to throw a certain type of change up. It's how to stay fast through your change up. So for my older pitchers working through this, I strongly suggest getting a radar gun out on this and look and see, are you consistently at that speed difference? For me, the magic number is that 10 mile an hour difference from your faster pitches. So I give like a plus or minus two from that 10, which would be minus is eight and plus would be 12. So if we're within eight to 12 mile an hour difference from our faster moving pitches, that's an effective changeup. 15 can work if you're throwing in youth softball, right? We're not talking college yet. We're not talking elite hitters either. But your elite hitters, which there's always a few sprinkled into every single lineup, and then you know you have some teams in travel ball that are very, very strong at hitting, they'll sit on that, they'll see it, and they'll wait for it. So you want it to blend. You don't want it to be this pitch that's so slow they're waiting on it. Yes, it may work sometimes, but we're not going for sometimes. We're going for all the time. I want my pitchers that I work with to train to be elite. So if we're seeing a difference of 15 miles an hour and more, that's, that's too slow, too slow. Let's speed it up some. I use that almost as a mental trigger. I'll show our pitchers, I'll say, listen girl, you are 20 miles an hour slower than your faster pitches. We've got a good seven, eight, nine, more, more speed that we can put on this thing and still be effective. That alone can help them move faster through the pitch, just knowing that and understanding that. So break it down for them, coaches and instructors. Don't take for granted and, and think, just assume, yeah, they get it, this is a change up, it's a slower pitch. There's a lot that, and they're kids, we're working with kids. There's a lot they don't understand. And there's a lot that goes unsaid about each pitch. So that communication of what we're trying to do can help your pitcher mentally understand and try to trust and trust it more. Okay, shove change up. Just shove change, yeah. All right, we have Hannah here. We're gonna work on her change up speeds. Hannah, what type of change up do you throw? A shove change. A shove change with knuckles. We put a knuckle yeah. on it. Yes, so we're just shoving the ball. Show us real quick kind of what you do. Yep, and we go hand underneath and shove. Perfect, awesome. So we're gonna throw one fastball here. I'm on her arm. 55. So 55 behind the pitcher is a little faster behind the catcher, but we're just looking at the difference. So now here comes a change up. We're going for 10 mile an hour difference. Eight to 12 is my magic number. 47. Nice hand. Did you like that one? Okay, let's try one more. There we go, 46, awesome. Hannah, such a good difference. Your changeup is killing it. Please throw it in the game this weekend. Okay, bye. So I'll give you another example. The radar example is huge. Use that, show them you have more speed. Put more speed in your body. Quit trying to slow it down with your body. 
for various reasons, right? But that one is just right in their face and helps them understand quite a bit. The other thing, put this into perspective. If you have a pitcher that throws 65 miles an hour with no change up, no off speed versus an average pitcher, maybe 55, depending on ages, of course, 55, 58, something like that, with a very consistent, very blended change up, that's 10 miles an hour difference. Then she has a very consistent, very blended off speed. That's a five mile an hour difference. That pitcher is hard. That's a hard to hit pitcher right there. Thought you can do it. I know. Sitta, okay. What do you throw as a change up or an off speed? I throw my off speed curve nice. and then I throw a horseshoe change. Did she throw a horseshoe as well? We're gonna look at that off speed curve today. So Ash is gonna have the radar on her. Give us a fastball first sitta. We're standing right behind her arm. Put it right there. 50. So now let's go to your off speed curve at a medium speed. Let's see if we can get it around 45. That's awesome. That's a great range for like a medium speed. Good work. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Yay. When pitchers start to get hit hard, the off speed and the changeup is taken away. Whether the team sits on it or they see it because it's telegraphed or the pitcher just quits trusting it. They got in her head. That's the game plan. Take it away from her. So you pitchers work on that. Be consistent with your body. Do not slow down your body for anything that messes with timing, which is gonna mess with your other stuff. So work these progressions. This is a clip from our weekly live lessons that we do with our online members. I get to see them every single week and it's just awesome. Um, I get to really get to know our girls and help them out personally with what they're working through. Um, I'll put the information down in the description for you guys. I would love to have you join our community. Um, give it a shot, but if you're not, that's cool. Use this to help yourself be better and more consistent with going fast and trusting your changeup. We will talk about types of changeups in another post as well. If you have questions, comment, let me know. I'm happy to help. Check us out, BeComplete.Athletics.com. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook. I am Coach Nick, and have a great day. I'll talk to you later. So this next thing is going to be kind of a lot, not too bad. We're going to put all these drills together one after another, okay? So the first drill, one set is four reps, okay? So the first rep in the one set is an Elvis drill with a change-up, right? So I'm in position for that change up. One, two, three, throw a change, okay? My very next drill is that stomp drill to get my lower half going fast and throw it with a change up. So I'm right here, leg up, arms forward, stomp hard, quick legs, snap a change. If we have slow legs, this is a good, that's a good drill you can do with a fastball. Today we're gonna do it with a change up, okay? Then I want you to go to a walk through with the change up, walk through, change up, okay? And then your very last rep within the four of the one set, full pitch, change up, okay? So what you guys are doing, four total sets of four reps each. Elvis drill with a change up, stomp drill with a change up, walk through with a change up, full pitch change up. That's one set. You got it?